Insecurity. It sucks. We all have it and we wish we weren't insecure about certain things like our looks, personality traits, our passions, etc. What can we do about it? I watched a film recently called Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop. The name is cute, but a little dumb. The movie focused on insecurities that people may have. The movie is going to tell you that whatever insecurity or flaw you have, it doesn't really matter. Let's talk about it then, shall we? The film follows two characters, Cherry and Smile. Cherry is insecure about a hobby of his writing haikus. The writing part isn't an issue, it's saying it out loud in front of people. He posts his haikus on off-brand Twitter to his very few followers. He seems fine posting it, but will refuse to say it out loud to people. He gets super embarrassed. Smile's hobby is being an influencer. God damn it. She is, in fact, very famous. She is insecure about her buck teeth, so her solution is wearing a mask 24-7 so people can't see it. It makes it even worse since she has braces. Like Cherry, she struggles with expressing herself, her real self. More on the expression part later. Let's get into the story though. The film was directed by Kyohei Ishiguro. Ishiguro did a great job of getting inside the character's headspace and showing the reason for being insecure. From the beginning, we see how Smile is insecure about her smile and wears a mask so that no one will be able to see her buck teeth. We see Cherry always wearing headphones so he doesn't have to speak to people since he hates talking. Ishiguro does such an amazing job of presenting these characters' flaws by having certain objects at the center of attention. Cherry wears his headphones and Smile wears her mask. When fate has them come colliding with each other, their flaws are exposed. Smile's buck teeth are shown to Cherry, and later Cherry tells Smile about his haikus. Despite being honest and open about this, they still close each other off from their insecurities. Cherry continues wearing his headphones, and Smile still hides her teeth. Over time, we start to see Cherry open up. He doesn't wear headphones as much because he's getting better at talking to people. Smile helps Cherry open up, but unfortunately he can't get Smile to open up as much. But Cherry is also still stubborn and doesn't want to fully expose himself. Over the entire film, they learn that their flaws aren't what defines them. Smile having buck teeth doesn't make her ugly. In fact, she used to like her teeth until one day she thought it was too childish and decided to hide them and even get braces so she can get rid of it. And with Cherry, not being able to say his haikus out loud doesn't make him incompetent. He's a very insightful person who loves haikus. What I enjoy most about this film is how it shows that there isn't a problem with letting your flaws be shown to the world. We all have flaws that we hide, things that we are ashamed of. We try our best to close it off and not let others find out about it. But what the film tackles is how flaws you have are only what you believe to be flaws. Smile's ashamed of her buck teeth, but her sisters don't see a problem with it. Smile makes it a problem. Cherry doesn't like reading his haikus aloud because it's embarrassing. It's only embarrassing because he makes it that way. On the rare occasion where he will say it in front of people, they all love it. Despite other people not having an issue with this stuff, Cherry and Smile decide to make it the biggest issue in the world. And that's just how we all are. We may be embarrassed about how we do things or how we look. Smile's insecurity is a physical trait while Cherry's is a mental trait. These are things that can be fixed. Smile is actively trying to fix her teeth, but she's even more ashamed with braces on. Some things you can't fix though. You may have a weird voice or you're too short, like 5 foot 11. Sorry short kings, but you gotta hit 6 feet. And you know what? It doesn't matter. You can't control certain flaws. You have to work with what you got. You can't fix insecurities overnight. What you can do is try not to hide it anymore. Because what's the point of hiding it? Are you afraid that you will be made fun of or that you don't want people to see your weaknesses? Who cares? Express yourself. And that is the big thing about insecurity, the lack of expression. I mentioned earlier that Cherry and Smile can't express who they really are. They would rather hide these things than letting them show. They have to learn expression. They are able to learn this from an old man named Fujiyama. Fujiyama is a frequent patient at a care center. Cherry has a job at this care center and meets Fujiyama. In the beginning of the film, he finds the man in a field searching for something. That something was Fujiyama's late wife, specifically a vinyl disc that she sung in. When Cherry and Smile find out about this, they make it their mission to search for the vinyl disc. Then they try and find clues and they manage to find out what his wife looked like. The interesting thing is Fujiyama's wife had buck teeth and can sing. Two things that our main characters are insecure about. Yet, we see this person who has no shame in it. She doesn't care what her teeth look like or if people will make fun of her for singing. She is who she is. Fujiyama loved her and throughout the film he tries to get Cherry to open up just like she did. By the end, Smile is at a festival and plays the song that Fujiyama's wife sung. Smile goes live and Cherry watches the live stream and hears the song playing. Moved by this, he makes it to the festival and sees Fujiyama. Fujiyama yells to Cherry, telling him to express himself. Cherry runs up on the stage and shares his haikus in front of everyone. 
in front of Smile, finally able to express himself. After hearing this, Smile takes off her mask, showing her teeth and her smile. Without Fujiyama and his wife's song, this would not have happened. They needed to see that their insecurities are not that big of a deal. The ending could be open to interpretation. At least, I like to view it that way. Cherry was able to say his haikus in front of people, but that doesn't mean his fear of public speaking is gone forever. Smile may have been able to show her smile in front of Cherry, but that doesn't mean she can do it in front of her audience of thousands. It shows that it was a first step. Because in the end, they are not perfect. We are not perfect. You can't kill a bad habit overnight or suddenly have the extreme confidence to do anything. It takes time to build that. It's like driving a car for the first time. We all suck at it, but once we keep going, we get better. At this point, Cherry and Smile now have a goal to keep exposing themselves to others. That's what I think this film wanted to show, that even though you have flaws, even though you may be ashamed of them, they are only the flaws you make. So you can either hide them forever or learn to embrace them. Dealing with insecurities are not easy. There are many things we can be ashamed of, but I think it helps knowing that other people have them too. Cherry and Smile learned that their insecurities were not all that bad. The greatest takeaway from this is that you don't have to hide or be ashamed of who you are. Your flaws don't define you. You decide what defines you. You can't let these flaws dictate who you are. So it's your choice to decide to be better. Make the decision that you don't need to hide those insecurities. Let these flaws bubble up like soda pop. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment. Subscribe too. It's free and it helps if you want to see more content like this. I'm Mofo Genius and I'm signing off.